Here at PIAC, we're fighting for asylum seekers in Australian detention centres to have a right to basic, humane standards of medical and mental health care. Here are five things you didn't know about health care and immigration detention. One, there are no protections under the Migration Act for health care in immigration detention. Maximum security prisoners in Australia have the right, guaranteed in legislation, to reasonable medical care and treatment. Asylum seekers do not. Two, this means you're better protected in a maximum security jail than an immigration facility. Three, there are more detainees than you think. Every day, Australia holds close to 1,500 immigration detainees in onshore facilities. A further 1,500 asylum seekers are held offshore. We have clients in all the major mainland facilities who are not receiving adequate health care. This is a system-wide problem. Four, the doctors are right. Detention causes serious mental harm. The Commonwealth Ombudsman recently found that almost 75% of long-term detainees were suffering from mental health problems. Five, Australia's processing time is at a record high. Immigration detainees in Australia are held for an average of 478 days. In the US and Canada, it's 32 and 25 days respectively. One of our clients, Marco, had been detained for over 55 months when we met him, and detention fatigue was a major factor in his self-harm. PIAC is working to secure minimum standards of care for asylum seekers languishing in Australia's harsh immigration detention network. But we need your help. Please consider making a tax-deductible donation to ensure asylum seekers have access to the health services that the rest of us take for granted.